Abortion. Abortion is the termination of pregnancy or the loss of a fetus embryo. The rate of miscarriage risk is high at the start of pregnancy. Mostly, miscarriages happen in the first trimester, that is, the first 12 weeks of gestation period. The earliest weeks of pregnancy before the 20th week is the time when a woman is at the highest risk of a miscarriage. The risk starts to drop when pregnancy reaches the sixth week. It is better to keep in mind that complications can arise at any point in the whole pregnancy period. Classification of abortion Early abortion It is the removal of undesired tissues in the first trimester in the 10 to 14th week of confirmed pregnancy through pills. Late abortion The abortion after the 24th week of pregnancy is called late abortion. Spontaneous abortion the death of the fetus before 20 weeks of pregnancy is spontaneous abortion. Causes of spontaneous abortion It can happen due to multiple reasons. There are no specifically mentioned causes. A spontaneous abortion does not mean it was caused by something you did. A list of problems that result in spontaneous abortion given by daily medicos are several viruses such as cytomegalovirus, herpes virus, parvovirus, and rubella virus, chromosomal and genetic abnormalities. For chromosomal and genetic abnormalities, there comes interuterine fetal demise, stillbirth, blighted ovum, no embryo formation, molar pregnancy, no fetal development, partial molar pregnancy. Defects in phases also cause miscarriages, immunologic abnormalities, major trauma, Uterine abnormalities, like fibroids, adhesions also cause spontaneous abortion, placental defects, retroverted uterus, cervix problems, hormonal problems in mother, infections, uncontrolled diabetes, thyroid disorders, abnormal fetal growth. These errors in genes and chromosomes of the mother or father can occur naturally and promote no fetal growth. Damaged cells, embryo division, or damaged sperm cells are also natural causes of abortion. Induced abortion, the intentional removal of embryo in case of unwanted pregnancy, is induced abortion. Threatened abortion, threatened abortion is marked by vaginal bleeding that occurs in the first trimester, which could be a sign of possible miscarriage. Inevitable abortion. The symptoms of inevitable abortion are intrauterine pregnancy with worse cramps, high vaginal bleeding, and cervix dilation that results in miscarriage. Complete abortion. Complete abortion happens during the eighth week when all the tissues leave the body and pass through the vagina with bleeding. Incomplete abortion. When some of the tissues leave the body and some products stay in the body, this is incomplete abortion. Recurrent abortion. Three consecutive miscarriages in 20 weeks is considered as recurrent pregnancy. Missed abortion. When the fetus didn't form and has died but the tissues remain in the uterus is missed abortion. Septic abortion. A uterine infection can spread to the placenta and fetus before and after induced abortion and can develop sepsis in the uterus, placenta, fetus, and vital organs. Risk factors involved in abortion. Risk factors of spontaneous abortion can be avoided to prevent abortion or miscarriage. Certain risk factors that could lead a woman to miscarriage are risk factor of abortion increases with age greater than 35, history of spontaneous abortion, tobacco consumption, use of alcohol, drugs, that is cocaine, chronic disorder in the mother, that is diabetes, hypertension, overt thyroid disorders, high caffeine intake, uterine and cervix problems, excess weight, invasive prenatal tests, poor diet or malnutrition, advanced maternal age, abnormally shaped uterus, severe high blood pressure, food poisoning, exposure to toxins like arsenic, lead, etc., use of certain medications, prevention of miscarriage. Some tips for avoiding a miscarriage are Regular exercise like jogging, walking, or cycling. Regular prenatal follow-ups. Avoid smoking, drug use, and alcohol intake. 
intake of prescribed multivitamin. Limit caffeine intake during the pregnancy, but it's better to avoid it. Maintenance of a healthy weight. A healthy and balanced diet with all nutrients and minerals in every meal. Avoid things that might develop infections. Add fruits and vegetables in your daily diet. Maintain a happy and calming environment. Find ways of managing your stress. Diagnosis Confirmation of Abortion The tests that are carried out for diagnosis and confirmation of abortion are transvaginal ultrasonography, transabdominal ultrasonography, serum HCG tests, treatment of abortions. Commonly for women who have an abortion except complete have three treatment managing options. Expectant management. Doctors wait for the rest of the tissue to pass out naturally in this type of treatment. Medical management. This treatment option requires medicines to remove the remaining tissue out of the body. Surgical management. This treatment option requires a surgical procedure to remove the tissues remaining, if any. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.